So the stalker community is buzzing about a new standalone mod. Many promises were made by the dev team about what this mod will contain and how it will overhaul the stalker experience. As such, there was a lot of anticipation and speculation about its release. Could it deliver on the promises, or would it let the community down? I'm happy to report there may be a new gold standard for story-driven mods. Delivered to us in the form of True Stalker. Yes indeed, greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Zone Operator. Today I'm going to be giving my review and general thoughts on the recently released story-driven standalone mod, True Stalker. The first thing I'm going to cover is the things I don't like about the mod, because the list is so damn short. So let's cover some of the more negative aspects. I'm, I'm going to start off by saying the mouse look feels a bit slow. There almost seems to be an input lag between moving my mouse and the character actually looking in the direction. I upped my mouse sensitivity to compensate, and although it did minimize the issue, it still does feel a bit sluggish to look around. I've found enemy NPCs to be very quiet. You'll rarely hear them moving around you, and a lot of the time they don't vocalize to give the player a general idea of where enemies are. This can lead to them being able to silently flank and appear behind you to shoot you in the back. This has happened to me frequently, and has led to some very frustrating engagements. Obviously, in this aspect, your gameplay experience may vary. This is a strange one. Many of the anomalies in True Stalker have these large area particle effects that I now know are harmless to the player. The danger zone and anomalies are actually very small. Let me show you a visual aid to demonstrate my point. Here you can see the shocker anomaly in the tunnel in the cordon. Now, this area highlights the harmless particle effects I'm talking about. And these areas are actually the danger zones that if you step into them will hurt your stalker or kill him. Now, I didn't know at the time that the large particle effects were harmless, and I thought this tunnel was just an unenterable death trap. And a lot of the anomalies have these large area particle effects that make them seem larger than they actually are. Uh, it's not really a negative aspect, but for new players, it might throw them off and think that anomalies are covering a larger area than they actually are. There are a few nitpick elements to the gameplay that when they come up, get on my nerves a bit. One example, say you're on a quest to retrieve an artifact, and someone calls you on the radio asking you to check out a bandit camp. The PDA will start tracking the new quest instead of the original quest you were already doing, meaning you have to go back into the PDA and change the quest tracking back to the original quest you were on. It's not a big issue, but it is just a little nitpick. Another example, say you fetched an artifact for a stalker or escorted a tourist back to a safe base. They tell you, come find me later and I'll give you a reward. So you walk away from them like 10 or 15 steps, and they call you on the radio, Hey man, I've got your reward. Come pick it up. This is a really tedious delay. Can't they just give me their reward when the quest is done to save a little time? I save talking about the UI and HUD until last, because these are a mixed bag for me. There's things I like and things I don't like. I like the inventory UI. It's clean and very comprehensive. It's easy to understand, and I mean, just look at it. You've got armor slots, your artifact slots, your weapon slots, everything is very clear and concise, easy to understand, I like it. Good job on the inventory UI. The in-game HUD on the other hand, leaves a bit to be desired. Many of the status icons are very small, and they don't give much information to the player on whether or not the negative status effect they are suffering from should be dealt with immediately. There have been many times where I've had the bleeding icon on my screen, but my health doesn't drop. So should I use a bandage to get rid of the negative status, or just let it be? Also, the in-game font is really small and hard to read at times. You might have noticed that these negatives I've been listing aren't really game-breaking, and for the most part are small, minor inconveniences, easily overlooked. 
Now that that's done, we can talk about the good stuff because wow, this mod is fantastic. Hey, Stalkers, чем пожаловал? I don't even know where to begin. If you're used to playing something like Stalker Anomaly, then True Stalker will feel like a very different game. You've probably heard me say that this is a story-driven mod, and that's a fact. The game takes place just after the events of Call of Creep yet. You play as a stalker named Axe, and you embark on a new storyline featuring a cast of new characters. And while you can roam around and do your own thing a little bit, this is not an open-world sandbox tied together by a very loose questline like Stalker Anomaly. You're here to follow the main character along the story's plotline. One thing players will notice right away is the high-quality production of this mod. There's high-quality voice acting, scripted events, new ambient sound and new music tracks. There's even in-game scripted cutscenes, for God's sakes. All of the familiar locations are back as well, but they've been slightly expanded and revamped to an amazing degree. When you play True Stalker, you'll see it's more than just a fresh coat of paint on an old product. The effort that has gone into the map design, the visuals, the sound design, the music, all of it is top-notch quality, polished to a stunning degree. The gameplay is also excellent. The movement, the gunplay, it all feels smooth and plays very tightly. All of the weapons I've used have felt like they pack a punch, and again, the sound design for the weapons is great. Although I did nitpick it a little earlier, gunfights feel good in this mod. The weapons are responsive and they all handle pretty close to how they would handle in real life. A shotgun has a lot of kick, while something like an MP5 is totally controllable. This is also a very stable mod. I've put a number of hours into it and I've never had it hard crash on me or freeze. Sometimes it does lag for a moment, but I think that's an engine thing, and it never lags out for too long. The English translation is also very good. Every so often there may be a word or two that might seem out of place, but all the text is readable and everything makes sense. The installation is also quick and easy. Simply download the game files, unzip them to the folder of your choice, and then run the setup exe. It's really that simple. Also, the mod is free. The development team has put years of work into this mod and released it for free for all stalkers to enjoy. It might sound like I'm kissing this mod's ass a bit, and I am. This is a top shelf, high quality mod. If I might be so bold, I might just go so far as to confirm what I said at the beginning of this video and say True Stalker might just be the new gold standard for story driven stalker mods. If my opinion counts for anything, I'm going to say that this is a must play mod. Go out and download it now and start playing. I'm having a great time playing True Stalker and it's probably going to be my go to for the next while. And honestly, quick shout out to all the developers who worked on True Stalker. In my opinion, you've created a real quality product that I think you should be very proud of. Well, that's uh, pretty much all I have to say about True Stalker. I kept the review simple and quick because I didn't want to spoil much about this mod. It really should be played and experienced firsthand. So, thanks for watching if you stuck around this long. Feel free to check out the other videos on my channel. Thanks to all the viewers who comment and support this channel. If you like this review style video, let me know and I might do more in the future. Thanks for watching. This is the Zone Operator, signing off.